Before Constantine converted to Christianity, Christians were persecuted, tortured, and killed. After Constantine's conversion to Christianity, Christians were free to worship in public. Though Constantine's conversion to Christianity was motivated more by politics than by faith, his political and social commitment to the church established Christianity as a powerful force that had major effects on the world. In the Battle of the Milvian Bridge, both Constantine and Maxentius thought they were the rightful ruler of the Roman Empire. So, to decide who truly was the rightful ruler, Constantine and Maxentius met head to head. Before the battle, Constantine saw in the sky, In this sign you shall conquer. After the battle, trying to flee, Maxentius died, and Constantine won. While Constantine ruled the Western Roman Empire, Licinius ruled the Eastern Roman Empire. In 313, Constantine and Licinius created the Edict of Milan that granted religious tolerance to all Christians and let them worship freely. In 324, Constantine attacked Licinius, and after a series of battles, Licinius was finally exiled and there executed. As a result, Constantine became the sole emperor of the Roman Empire. In 325, Constantine convened the Council of Nicaea to see whether or not Jesus was fully human or fully divine. In the end, they decreed he was fully human and fully divine. Constantine's conversion to Christianity allowed Christianity to spread throughout Europe even after the fall of the Roman Empire. The Catholic Church was able to gain more political power as more and more monarchs converted to Catholicism and were under the Pope's influence and paid tithes to the Church. Due to Constantine's conversion to Christianity, in today's world, there are quite a significant number of Catholics in the world. Approximately one-third of the world's population is Christian, and there are more Catholics than all of the denominations combined.